Good morning, guys, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, jackhammers, it is May, and it's time for your jackhammer challenge. And the reason that I am dripping with sweat is because I just did what you're about to do with me, hopefully, <laughs> if you don't run away screaming right now. So what I have for you this month is a brutal body weight boot camp challenge. This is a workout that I created for my boot campers and then modified a little bit for us in our time frame. So it is format chaotic, it is all body weight, and it is so much sweaty fun. So what you're gonna need for this workout obviously is a lot of water. You are going to need your weighted vest if you have one for certain parts. If you don't, don't worry about it. I think I used it for one little section, so that's very optional. Um, you're going to need your can-do attitude times about 50. Um, you're going to need a lot of mental toughness for some of these formats. Um, some are shorter, but some are longer and brutal. So get your mind right before you get into this workout. So we're going to have a couple different formats. We're going to start with a crazy eight set that is not interval based. We're going to have some no rest sets. We're going to have um, a lot of plyometrics in this workout. And we are going to end with an EMOM that absolutely tried my soul. So <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to move quickly. Um, I think you're going to love it. But get your mind right. Get all the stuff you need. And I will meet you back for this brutal bodyweight boot camp, jackhammers. All right, guys. Let's get your bodyweight boot camp workout started with a good warm-up. All right. We're just going to start with some steps and reaches and pulls. Warming up the back, getting the shoulders ready to work, and the legs, of course. You can start pulling the hamstrings here as well when you step. This one is a little format chaotic, so it should go by nice and quickly. And it's not the longest workout in the world, so stick with me even when it gets tough. All right, we're gonna go into some calf raises and arm crosses. I'm alternating which arm is on the top each time. Sometimes we forget to think about our calves because they are usually not complainers and don't necessarily make us pay for a brutal workout, but we should still always warm them up nicely. All right, let's go into some back lunges. I'm going to add a reach to mine. Really opening up our hip flexors here so they can be ready to be powerful and explosive and also not get injured. Let's do one more each side. All right, check it out a little bit. We're going to go into some leg swings, about 10 each side. All right, go to that other side. a little bit more. I always get snap, crackles, and pops with this move. That's okay. All 
Open up those lungs. Get your mind right. All right. Let's do one more each side. All right. Now we're going to go into some squats, just body weight squats. Get those quads ready. Make sure our hips are nice and open. You'll know right away if they're not. You can always add some arms to these squats if you still feel like your upper body needs a little love. Three, two, one. All right, guys, make sure to take a good swig of water because you're about to get into a brutal body weight boot camp workout. See you in a minute. All right, guys, you're getting into your first section of this body weight boot camp workout. It is going to be a crazy eight format. Uh, we're not going to do eight rounds unless, of course, you want to, but there are eight reps of each move that we're doing. So we've got eight squat jumps, eight squats, eight switch lunges, eight left lunges, eight right lunges, eight stars or power jacks, eight reverse lunges, and um, we're going to do those on both sides. So there are eight moves. We're doing eight reps each move. I'm going to shoot for two to three rounds. Depending on what time you have, um, you can do as many rounds as you'd like to do. All right. You can strap on your weighted vest for this. I think at least for the first round, I'm just going to go with my body weight. So here we go. Eight squat jumps. One, two, three, four, big jump, five, six, seven, eight, straight into eight squats. One, two, three, squeeze up the top, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Eight switch lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. All right, left lunges for eight. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Eight stars or power jacks. You know, I'm going to do power jacks this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight reverse lunges on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, how are you doing? Eight, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's your first round of that. I'm going to mark mine down here. Take a little breather. And we'll get into round two. Starting with eight squat jumps. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, tighten that core, seven, eight, eight squats, one, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight switch lunges, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight left lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got that other leg coming up. Seven, eight. Other side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, eight stars or power jacks. I'll do stars this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, okay. Reverse lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, have fun, seven, eight, other side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. You are all finished with round number two. High fives. We're gonna do a third round. I think I'm gonna put my best on for this. Famous last words. <laughs> Take a good breather, get a good drink. And we'll go. I'm putting my vest on upside down. I typically do this because it doesn't shake as much. It fits me a little bit tighter when I do it like that. It doesn't bounce as much when I do certain moves. So just wanted you to know. All right. Whew, here we go. Round three. One, two. I'll probably be slower this round. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight switch lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, eight left lunges. One. That makes a difference. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna do power jacks with the vest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse lunges on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. You have crushed all three rounds of this. If you want to do more rounds, if you have more time, more energy, or are just super crazy, go ahead and do that. If not, I'm going to move on to a hit set after I change my camera. Awesome job, guys. All right, guys, we're back for your hit set. We have Spider Man kick throughs, three way lunges to switch, full release push up, knee tuck burpees, and 
sit through cardio burpees, so no push-ups with those, okay? 45-15 intervals. We're doing it twice. Starting off with the Spider-Man kick through. I may have some space obstacles per usual with some of these moves, but we're going to do the best we can. You do the best you can too. All right, coming down. So, Spider-Man push-up. Step up, kick through. Spider-Man push-up, kick through. Kick through. Now, you can also just do a standard push-up or a knee push-up, then reptile that leg in, then kick through. If you're not ready for Spider-Man push-ups. Almost there, good job. All right, three wave lunge with the switch. Good times. So you're gonna start with a forward lunge, go to the side, to the back, switch. Forward lunge, side lunge, back lunge, switch, okay? If you don't like the jump, you can also just step to switch, just like that, okay? A nice dynamic stretching move for us. You're welcome to add weight or a vest if you need a little more from this move. You'll be thankful for it by the second round. Just a few more seconds. Very good. Four release push up, knee tuck, burpee. Coming all the way to the ground. Releasing those hands, tucking the knee, and jumping up and clapping. Okay, so all the way down. Knee tuck, one more. Knee tuck, one more still. And up, okay? Lots of sneaky push ups there. sit through cardio burpees. <sighs> Hope you guys are doing well. Here we go. So take it back. Step up. Sit through. Sit through. And burpee. Step it up. Switch. Sit through. So much fun. try to get my rear right on the ground with those. Feel like you're break dancing a little bit. Almost there. Very good. Relax. Breathe it out, this is round two. Spider-Man kick throughs. Here we go. Pick it up, kick. You can add a toe touch if you like that. My little girl used to say to her brother, and she'd tease him and do something he didn't like. He'd say, what's wrong? You don't like that game? So if you don't like this game, you do another game. Less than 10 seconds here. 
Try to get one more in. Very good. Relax. Getting our mat ready for three-way lunges with a switch. I told you to be thankful for this one. Oh, early, early. Got my yawns on. I don't edit that out because this is real life. We don't always get the ideal amount of sleep. We don't always perform every move perfectly. That's okay. We keep going. That's what's important. Steady wins the race. Almost there. I'll have those full release push up burpees next. With knee tucks. Very good. Breathe it out. You don't have to do as many push-ups. You could do this and come up. As long as you get one full release in there, I'm happy. You don't have to be crazy and do three like I do. I don't know if it's like this where you guys are, but the pollen is so appalling. It's all through the air. And I am like an allergic mess right now. So I may sniffle, but man, there's nothing like spring and summer to make me happy. I have been so happy just with being able to be outside with my babies and have fun with them and plant things. Oh, I love it. There's nothing like it. All right, cardio burpees. Except sit through burpees. <laughs> <laughs> they also bring me lots of joy. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> but they're a necessary evil. with that section, towel it off. I'm going to switch my camera yet again. We're going to move straight on to another bit of format chaos. See you in a minute. All right, guys, Tabata combo time. We're starting with a shuffle and a heel grab. You can do lower high impact there, depending on your knees. And then we're going to do a curtsy with a rock star jump. You have about 10 seconds here before we get started with that. We're going to shuffle and grab our heels. Two, one. Just 20 seconds here. So shuffle, go grab. I don't have a lot of space for the shuffle, so I'm just going to do a little lateral hop here. Very good. All right, curtsy with a rock star. So you can either do one of those at a time, like this, rock star. Or you can do two curtsies, then hit your rock star after that. Really having to pull with those hamstrings. I always do that I love you sign at the top of my rock stars because whew, shuffle again. Now you can also make these low impact with low side steps, okay? And then you can grab your heels this way, okay? No big deal. Whew, that's 
the leg burner. They're both leg burners, what am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Here we go. Curtsy, Rockstar. Big jump, Curtsy, Rockstar. Curtsy, rock it out. Always good to work on that lateral movement because we never move in just one plane when we're moving in sports and just in life in general. So always try to move laterally at different angles. One of my clients always laughs at me in boot camp because I always seem to have done a brutal leg workout the day before. So I'm always saying, I've got lead legs from a brutal leg workout. And he always says to me, yeah, I bet you do. Because it's like every time <laughs> I've put in my leg workout poorly. Very good. One more full round of these. Then we'll move on to some other format of torture. Breathe it out. Remember, you can take these low. Okay? Leg burn is real. Breathe it out. Do what you can. Just keep moving, even if it's a boxer shuffle that you do. Walking in place. Just don't give up. Eight seconds, and we're done with Tabata. Very good. Whew. All right, towel it off. Our next set is going to be 30 10 intervals. We're going to start with typewriters or jumpy typewriters. We're going to go straight into two froggers, two heel clicks. Then we'll go into some belt kicks or switch kicks, whichever you like. Some in and out squats or squat jumps. Four mountain climbers, one leg flying push up. Sorry, ouch. We're going to alternate legs there. And then four high knees, four power jacks. So you will have 10 seconds before we have to go into those typewriters or jumpy typewriters. Okay? Breathe it out. Only two rounds of this. Here we go. So, narrow squat, medium. Wide, medium, narrow, okay? You can totally leave that jump out. Halfway done already. Mm. And one, very good. All right, two froggers, two heel clicks. These will be a lot of fun after that Tabata. But press on, we shall. Frog, frog. Up, click, click. Not super long intervals. So push through. Oh, yeah. Very good. Switch kicks or belt kicks. I might stick with a belt kick here. Here we go. Kick, 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 kick. Oh, 
really contract your abs, pull down the opposite side of your body so you can really activate your obliques. Breathe obnoxiously. Very good. In and out squat jumps. This is one of the reasons I did belt kicks that round. Because <laughs> these I knew were coming for us. So, only 30 seconds. For our next move to four mountain climbers, we're doing two equals one. So it'll be eight all together, then a regular push-up or a flying leg push-up. Oh, very good. I'm getting so sweaty, guys. I hope you are too. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Push-up. Fly it over. Okay? One, two, three, four. Push up. Fly it over. One, two, three, four. One. Good job. I'm good. This goes by quickly. Luckily, four high knees. Four jacks or power jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good job. Very good. Don't be typewriters. We're just regular typewriters. Narrow, medium, wide squats. Just like that. If you're not jumping, it's okay to take an interval to get back under control. Breathing wise, just keep moving. Hours. Two heel clicks. How you guys doing? I know you're doing great. All right. One, two, up for two clicks. One, two. 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 Five seconds. Very good. Switch kicks or belt. You don't want to do belt again. You want to do switch. Go right ahead. Exhale. So sweaty. So good. To all you mamas out there, or those who have been a mama to someone, or had a mama you loved, happy Mother's Day. All right, we've got in and out swap jumps. This one's a doozy. Legs are burning. For the brutal leg workout I did yesterday. In truth, I actually did. I'm gonna record it for you guys. It is called Quad Squad Goals because it is all quad focus. Three, two, one. That's why I am 
struggling today. It was really good. Four mountain climbers. One leg flying push up. There we go. One, two, three, four. Push up. One, two, three, four. This mat is not conducive to a very good flying push up without falling on your face. Very good. Keep that core super tight. Last time for your high knees. You can totally make these low impact as well. One, three, four. You can step it out. Two, three, four. Get those knees up though. if you need to. We're going into yet another format. 35 exercises. Not 35, but 35 intervals. Just two exercises. We run through it twice. Just for fun. See you in a minute. Alright guys, next we have your no rest set. And by no rest, I just mean that there's five seconds in between each exercise, which is just enough time for you to get to the next one. We are doing groiners and side to side squats. Each interval is 30 seconds. So here we go. You have five seconds to get down there and get ready for this madness. I'm gonna put a towel down for my hands. Okay, 30 seconds of groiners. Then we get up, we do side to side squats. low two and just step them up. Very good. All right, side to side squats. Good times. After this, we go into a little bit of an EMOM. That is very, very shoulder core focus. Well, we got some legs in there too. Breathe it out here. You don't have to be the fastest or the deepest squats you've ever done. Very good. Groiners. This doesn't work for you. A wide mountain climber is good. Slow or fast, okay? Very quad focus move, very shoulder focus, very core focus, full body really. One. Just enough time to get up. Not enough time to think about how awful this is. <laughs> this is your last one. I'm putting those hands down to keep me honest here. to get a nice low squat, even when I don't feel like it. Don't forget to keep that chest up so we can make awkward eye contact on the video. There we go. Awesome job. Take a breather. That was fun. There was no rest, but it wasn't the bottom. So, your next part is an EMOM. It's six minutes, unfortunately. Um, it will start with 10 mount climbers and one push up. Okay? 
Then 10 mountain climbers, a push up, two plank frog hops. 10 mountain climbers, push up, two plank frog hops, and two heel clicks. Then a push up, two plank frog hops, and two heel clicks, because we've taken off those mountain climbers at minute number four. Minute five is two frog hops, two heel clicks, and your last minute is heel clicks only, which we can take to low impact. We will figure out a way to get through this, okay? All right, let's get our timer on here. We have about five seconds. All right, 10 mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push up. Again, one, two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can take those legs wide. You can go down on the knees. Push up. Doing great. Tighten that core. Nice flat back. Take a couple of seconds to rest if you need to. Let me get my towel. Here we go. Five seconds until you have to go into it again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten. Push up. Two plank frog hops. One, two. Push up. One, two. Nice push up. Weight in the outside of the palms. You can take it down to a knee push up. No problem there. Dripping. Oh. All right. Okay. Doing all of that again. Adding two heel clicks. You can take them slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can take that push up here. Two froggers. Two heel clicks. Take that push up down on your knees. I'm with you. My arms are shot. Whew. This is our longest combo. Then we take out those mountain climbers. Very good. Five seconds, rest it up. All right, now it's just a push up with those frog hops. If you need a break, take it. Cheating on my froggers. <laughs> One and two and then heel clicks. <sighs> Five seconds. Get that push up. <sighs> All right, take your five seconds. Wipe off. 
Two frog hops, two heel clicks. Just two more minutes here. I'm doing a nice slow pace. Keep your form tight. You're gonna get tired. You're gonna want to quit. heel clicks. I'm also going to give you a modification with those heel clicks in this last minute. Whew. All right. So you can heel click this way and tap those heels. You can do a combo of one, two, three, four, and then four, three, Two, one. The legs are dead. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is where the magic happens. When it hurts. <laughs> No, when you're tired and you keep going. Very good, guys. You are all finished with this workout. Towel it off and we will cool down. I'm so proud of you. This is hard. See you in a few. All right, guys, I am ready for a good cool down. I hope you are too. We're just going to start by dynamically stretching those hamstrings. Now, you can do this kickstand style and reach for the toes. So planting one toe. Or you can just do an alternating single leg deadlift and work on that balance. Which for me is not too good this way. Let's do one more each side. All right. I just want you to forward fold here. Very nice hamstring stretch. All right, from here, I want you to step back and get that hip flexor stretched. Really breathe here, nice and deep. And switch sides, step it up, step it back. Step this one forward, slowly roll up, and hit some quad stretches next. Really relax the quad, drive the hips forward. And other side. You can use that arm for counterbalance if you need it. Right from here, you're going to stretch those inner thighs by leaning to one side. And 
Bring it up, other side. In the middle. Swing those arms a little bit. Do a shoulder stretch from here. Other side. All right, tricep. Other side. All right, let's, let's do a heel toe in here. Hit an IT band stretch. Other side. Come up. We're going to end with some inhales and exhales. Inhale up. Awesome job, guys. I hope you are feeling very accomplished. That was a super tough workout. As you can see, I am completely drenched. And when I wipe off all this sweat, at least for the moment, I will see you back up at the camera for our send off. Awesome job. All right, guys, great job crushing this brutal bodyweight boot camp workout. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I hope there was a lot of sweat involved and I hope that you strapped on that can-do attitude and kept going even when it was hard. Just remember, if you're modifying moves, but you're still going, you are winning. So um, just always think about that. Do what you can, modify the moves so that they work for you and your body and your level, and just don't give up, okay? Because consistency is the key to getting stronger and getting in the best shape of your life. It's not doing the hardest thing every time that you work out, okay? So now what I need you to do is guzzle that water today. Get a healthy post-workout meal 30 to 90 minutes after this workout to help your muscles repair and grow. Stretch some more if you need to, absolutely. And if you have any questions nutrition-wise, personal training-wise, or you want to sign up for our four-week glute growing program, uh, please email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com or comment down below this video and we'll get you signed up and we'll help you out. Other than that, uh, this is Mother's Day week, so um, anybody who has been a mother to you, whether they are your real mama or not, love on them extra hard. Um, even if they are that difficult person in your life, um, life is just so short and precious. Um, so find some joy in that this week. If you are a mama or have been a mama to somebody else, um, I just am so grateful for you and I hope that you are celebrated as you should be. Um, and just celebrate yourself and the amazing strength that you have and the amazing capacity to love others. So whether you feel like this body weight boot camp was just what your body needed or whether you feel like it booted you right out of your comfort zone, you finished. And as always, it is your health today and every day, so you better hit it hard. Boom! Awesome job, Jackhammers. Happy May, and I will see you soon.